just having some food. It's actually um, it's ten to two. We just arrived in Vienna last night. It's actually the morning of my birthday, and we're going to go um, bear witness inside of a slaughterhouse to pigs before they're slaughtered. So we're just getting ready. We're about to leave. There's a fire inside your heart. And let it light up the world. Light up the world. Uh, we're we're at the. Uh, Can you hear me? We're out on we're on the main street. Is this where it is in the city? Okay. Still waiting for the for the Uber. Okay, we'll see you soon. Uh, might take this jacket off, put that one on so I can that one can smell. We get nervous obviously and some try to run away and the guy who's responsible to, to put them in the right corner, he's like quite like intense with them, quite heartbreaking actually. Animal friendly life transport. Oh friendly, eh? Not very friendly where they're going. Okay, so here we are at this small slaughterhouse in Austria, just outside of Vienna. Uh, we've got a, a pen full of pigs here, and they are getting ready to be uh, slaughtered in there. So, kill floor is just past this holding pen. We're here to bear witness to the animals, be with them before they meet the knife. So let's go meet the animals. Yeah, so they're a little bit shy, but the, the longer that we're in here, they will get used to us and realise that we're not a threat. Hello, darling. She's really shy and scared. Their demeanour is exactly like a dog. Really timid and they express a lot with their eyes, sniffing around. They're just like shy puppy dogs, but bigger and look a little bit different. Look so worried, don't they? When you look at this place, it's, it's, it's like a, the holding cell of a prison, like a really, you know, maximum security, dingy old prison. But uh, it's a slaughterhouse. They'll be terrified in the last moments and being stunned, electrically shocked, stabbed. I used to eat their body parts. These animals, terrified animals who struggled and drowned in their own blood inside of a slaughterhouse here. And I ate their body parts for years and years. I remember eating like the piece of an animal like this and there would be hair on the, on the flesh and I didn't think really nothing of it, you know? Came from an individual. Nothing disturbs me more now that I'm vegan than that. Pigs don't do well confined with each other like in these holding pens. They get stressed out really easily. They're a highly anxious animal. They don't do well crammed together. See them, they've got scratches on their backs from, you know, fighting with each other. There's about four dozen here now. They look pretty young. They're gonna kill a lot of animals here this morning. Apparently the kill floor starts at 5.30 a.m. All of these animals are gonna be killed this morning. What a tragedy.
poor little babies. So adorable. Hello, darling. Look at you. Look how beautiful you are. Oh my God. It's crazy these beautiful angels get turned into sausages, minced up into sausages. Beautiful sentient animals the way they are. This is going to be hard if we have to watch these animals be murdered. It's going to be tough. I don't think they have much of an idea of what's going to happen to them in there, but it's absolutely a tragedy. Beautiful sentient animals, they're so adorable. Exactly like dogs in every way except for the way they look. And they're going to choke on their own blood in there, you know. Dire, violent death so people can eat them in a sausage. So... So... People are so disconnected. Look at this baby here. Look at their beautiful eyes. Their eyes are so much like a human's. Having their own sentient, subjective experience of reality. Their own emotions, their own fears, wants, desires. They desire well-being, they want to avoid suffering, they want to avoid a knife in the throat, that's for sure, but uh, they won't really have a choice in there. Um, yeah, they'll be cornered, shocked, electrically shocked, and then stabbed to death. What actually, what disturbs me the most is that I used to eat them, eat their bodies. I didn't know who I was eating. And it sickens me, like, it sickens me. I've done a lot of things in my past that I regret, you know, being an ex-gang member and things like that, but n none are more regretful than eating the body parts of these beautiful sentient animals. I guess um, what my message to people would be is when you dine on the flesh of an animal, don't think about what you're eating, think about who you're eating. Who were they? How did they live? How were they killed? Look at them, they're so helpless, like there's nothing they can do either. There's nothing that we can really do. They're just defenseless animals, they're, they're imprisoned behind these bars and we can't really do anything to help them. The best thing we can do is um, tell their story for them and hope that the public connect with them. And by realising that they're the reason they're in here, the, you know, the consumer are the reason these places exist. And hopefully they change their habits and these places end, but at the moment, like, there's, it's just a feeling of helplessness. I'm kind of grateful that the animals don't really know what they're about to face, but they're going to face it either way, you know? And they're probably going to be able to see their friends be murdered before them, which is even more disturbing. It's really sad, eh? Those poor babies. Hello. They're so curious, eh? Hello. Oh. Hello. You come to say hello, have you? Have you come to say hello? Who, who am I? Who am I? What am I doing here? Why am I here? I'm your friend. I'm your friend. We're trying to help you. Is that tasty? My shoulder tastes nice. <laughs> My shoulder tastes nice. You are adorable. Look at this one. <laughs> they are so beautiful. I'm guilty of pigs being my favourite animal. I used to draw pictures of them and I'd eat ham sandwiches. Like, that is society's fault. That is society's fault. Having me drawing pictures of pigs while I'm eating them, the, the remains of their bodies after they suffered and died in a place like this, you know. It's actually quite crazy when you think about it. <laughs> 
just don't eat any of the equipment, okay? That's why kids grow up confused, don't they? Teaching them to care about animals and draw pictures of them and watch Peppa Pig, and then feeding them the body parts of individuals like these that they would never, never eat if they um, witnessed them on the kill floor. All right, so we just had a break from bearing witness from the pigs here just to charge my phone. Um, kill floor starts up at 5.30. We don't know if the slaughterhouse owner is going to let us on the kill floor. We're going to go check now. Just one. Okay. Well, let's let me get my hand. Um, so what's what's happening is that um, only one of us is allowed on the kill floor, and because Lena said to the slaughterhouse owner it's my birthday, which it actually is my birthday today. I can get suited up and go on the kill floor. He said no cameras, but I'm gonna bring my camera anyway. Just my handheld camera. Cameraman has to stay here. Yeah, so. Sad, disturbing, hard, but important. Yeah, so one of the hardest parts for me about doing this is that when you offer the pigs compassion and you know, they're a little bit unsure of you and you, make them trust you and then you pat them. I don't feel as comfortable with that, knowing that they're about to be shocked and stabbed to death. I don't want them to trust people in there and I don't, um, I feel like I'm kind of betraying them, even though I'm not. I feel like they might think that I was part of this betrayal because I was, you know, making them feel comfortable and petting them and then when they go in there, maybe they think they might get this, receive the same sort of treatment but they won't, they'll receive no mercy in there and be killed. So it's a really hard situation for me to, you know, be petting them and, you know, kind to them and making them trust human beings and then they go in there and get butchered and killed. Just to put on the clothes? Yeah, yeah. No, that's all right, he, he can't come. Where are we, uh, where are we getting? Okay. Okay, so we're about to go inside to uh, the kill floor where they will process the animals.